if a new effective treatment is initiated and all the other factors remain the same which of the following is most likely to happen now going into the options incidence will not change prevalence will not change neither incidence nor prevalence will change incidence and prevalence will change if you look at the options all the options are dealing with either incidence or prevalence so we will go into what is the incidence and prevalence now in layman term incidence means new cases or new diseases okay prevalence means new plus old means total okay. whether it is new or old it is considered as prevalence is considered as a total number of cases okay ideally so there is some formula for calculating these three okay so layman term is this one so if you go to proper formula number of cases in specific time whether it can be month or year anything and by population at risk okay this is the formula for incidence okay it can be 100 or 1000 or 10000 depends on the how much of a population we are taking so number of cases that means new cases in specific area or in specific for example if they are calculating uh, tb we have to calculate population at risk as a denominator for example those who are above 60 years only we have to take if you take all the population for example from zero the newborn to 60 years and who are living if you take the in the, the whole scenario will change and the value will be so much deranged so we have always always we should take population at risk this is number of new cases now coming to the prevalence okay prevalence is simple incidence into duration of the illness or duration of disease or treatment okay so whatever okay, or the same only illness it can be treatment okay so it's just a simple multiplication so prevalence equal to incidence into time duration incidence we have seen the form so now coming back to our question here incidence equal to new cases prevalence equal to incidence into time so it's a here it's a like common sense question like a basic if you apply basic principle will really come to the answer if a new effective treatment is initiated here the word treatment is initiated right so if the treatment is initiated what will happen the duration of illness will automatically get reduced and prevalence will automatically get reduced what will happen to incidence incidence will be remain same right because duration is changing not the incidence right if in case instead of treatment they have given prevention effective preventive preventive method they have found out then we can say that incidence new case occurrence is reduced here they are saying effective treatment is initiated so the duration of treatment is reduced automatically prevalence will get reduced i will give one example to easily understand for example covid we know that is very recently it's affected effective treatment for covid is initiated what will happen so automatically the patient who are admitted in the hospital effectively get treatment and the duration will automatically get reduced so we know that formula by based on the formula prevalence will also get reduced what will happen to the new case new cases will be same and similarly because the infecting method is same they are not taking they are not talking about any preventing method so incidence will always remain same so now coming to the options now incidence will not change yes it won't change prevalence will not change no prevalence will reduce okay prevalence will reduce neither incidence nor prevalence will change no this is wrong incidence and prevalence will change no this is also wrong here also also wrong so only option left out is incidence will not change this is the answer for this question because treatment is initiated effective treatment is initiated duration get reduced so prevalence get reduced in case instead of treatment if there is any preventive method or prophylaxis initiated incidence will also get changed now answer is incidence will not change is the answer for this particular question